All right, well, the title obviously is the distributive property. You've been probably somewhere where a Sunday school class or some kind of an event where the teacher passes out candy. So they pass out candy to the first row and they pass out candy to the second row and then he turns around and he goes back to teaching. What's the back row doing at this point? They're sad. Johnson didn't get a piece of candy. Very sad. Okay, because the teacher wasn't fair. They didn't pass it out to everyone equally. Okay, the idea of distributing is the number that's in front of a parenthesis, you multiply it into the parenthesis, and you don't multiply it just times the first one, but you also multiply it times the second one, and the third part inside the parenthesis, if possible. And so, this is kind of a really bad photocopy up here, but what this is supposed to say is A times B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. And the idea being the A multiplies to the B and the C. That's the idea. That's called distributing. And so, as we're looking at problems, we can realize that 7 parentheses, 11 minus 3, could be 7 times 11 and 7 times 3. Notice the minus sign in the middle carries to the minus sign in the middle. Then you get 77 minus 21, which is 56. Now, I realize that sometimes we simplify parentheses first, and sometimes we don't. So we need to be versatile in terms of either possibility. But distributing is just a very simple way to go through it. Second, a couple different variables and terms and things like that. A term, if you hear me use the word term, Hannah, what I mean is a group of letters or a group of variables that are all connected with multiplication. Okay? Expressions are connected with adding and subtracting. Terms are connected with multiplication. If they're like terms, that means they have the same number of variables and the same number of exponents. For example, these are all like terms. 4x cubed, x cubed, 3x cubed, 6x cubed. What's in common with every single one of those? They're all what? X cubes. How many x cubes is this one right here? That's 1x cubed. So if there's not a number in front of the variable, stick an invisible 1. Now, the 4, the 1, the 3, and the 6, each of those are called coefficients. So if I say, what's the coefficient? That's the number in front of the variable. All right? Then, last but not least, if you have someone in your life who's a really close friend, hopefully your goal, Pat, is that they are a constant factor in your life. That means they're the same today as tomorrow as a week from now. You want that friend to be constant in your life. So if someone's constant in your life, they're not going to change. And that's what a constant is. All right? It's a number. Why do we call it a constant? Because does this number 8 ever change? No. Could the x or the y change? Yeah. What are the x and y's called? Variables. The idea of a variable, Sarah, is it changes. So if I say, what's the constant? It's the 8. But what do we call the 3, the 4, and the 2 again? Reminder. What are they called? up here, the number in front of the variable, what's that word? Coefficient. So the 3, the 4, and the 2 are coefficients, but the 8 is called a constant. Now, look at this big phrase here. With your partner, underline the like terms. Underline the two terms that are alike. What are they? Some table, tell me what your thoughts are. Ty? 3x squared and 2x squared. Yep, 3x squared and 2x squared. So if I have 3x squared in one hand, and I have 2x squared in another hand, and I throw them both in a bucket, how many x squareds are in the bucket? 5x squareds are in the bucket, right? Because we've got 3 on one hand and 2 on the other, so now total we have 5x squared. So if I was going to simplify that line, how I would write it would be this. 5x squared 
minus 4xy plus 8. And a little reminder, the 8 is called the what? Starts with a C, ends with ant. It's the constant. All right. So what we're going to do here is do a little practicing of distributing, and then the back side will do a little like term comparison and stuff. All right. Really simple. 4 times 3. We all know that's 12. 4 times negative 5. Trying to do these without a calculator here. Negative 20. Are those like terms? Do they both have x's? No, so they can't be combined. All right, let's skip over to number two. I put this one down. It's very unusual to see the number that you're multiplying by at the back. But Ethan, I wanted to show you an example so when you saw it, you didn't freak out. That's all. Really, I would rewrite this problem with the one-fourth in the front. That's how I would start it. Because do you agree that 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2? Is it okay to switch that order? Sure. So, what is one-quarter times 2? Remember, we think of the 2 as 2 over 1. So what's one-quarter times 2 over 1? We'll multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, and you get... 2 fourths x. We'll simplify that in a sec. Now what is 1 fourth times 8 over 1? Emily? Just 2. 1 fourth of 8 is 2. So let's simplify here. The 2 fourths becomes 1 half. And that becomes 2. If you wanted to put 8 fourths first and then make it into a 2, that's fine. But our goal is to try to do these without a calculator. All right, next special case. You see that minus sign in front. Whenever you see a minus sign in front, all by itself, I want you to change it like this. I want you to stick in a 1 there. Because what it really means is negative 1 times that whole thing. And whenever you have a negative 1 times an entire system, what you got to remember is to distribute it to both parts. So, negative 1 times positive 4, negative 4x. Negative 1 times negative 7, remember, negative times a negative is a positive, so that's positive 7, and there's our answer. So when you see a negative in front, stick a 1 there. Really straightforward. All right, you do number 4 very quickly, I'll give you about 30 seconds to do it. Go. plus negative 8? Who's got 5x minus 8? Are they both correct? Is one more right than the other? No. Either one. Remembering that minus becomes a minus 1, and you multiply to both parts. All right, flipper. Combining like terms. Without looking back at the previous page, if I asked you for the definition of a like term, could you come up with it? Give me some ideas. What is a like term? Come on. To add them together, what must you have in the other hand? Oranges. Here, what are my like terms? Let's underline them. 6x squared, 2x squared. I like to put two lines under the x squared, three lines under the x cubes, etc., just to help me remember. So when I combine those two together, how many x squareds do I have? Eight. Thanks, Jocelyn. 
plus the 5x. Well, 4y plus 8y is 8y. Very simply is what? 12y. I know these may seem trivial, but I'm trying to make sure we hit the, hit the ground on these and go over the ideas. What is the number in front of the variable called again? Don't look back. Emily. Coefficient. See if you can write it. Co and then efficient. Hopefully you'll be efficient at writing coefficient. Number seven, it says write an algebraic expression for the following. Three times the quantity. First time we've had the word the quantity. Whenever you see the word the quantity, whatever follows it goes in parentheses. So let's start three times the quantity. So three times the quantity. Four more than a number. This is great for the quiz today. Whenever you see the words more than or less than, where does the number that's in front of that word go? At the very end. Now you have to make a choice, Jay. You have to pick your favorite variable because whenever you see the words a number, you have to stick in your favorite variable. So, Jade, what's your favorite variable today? Uh, it's going to be J. It's going to be J today. So, J plus 4. Remember, more than or less than. Whatever is in front of that word goes where? At the end. So, if I said for less than a number, it would be J minus 4. If I said for less than twice a number, would it change? Now it's going to say 2j minus 4. In this case, we had j plus 4. All right, looking down here. The product, product means multiply, of negative 8 and the quantity of 2 less than a number. All right, take 30 seconds, work with your partner, see what you come up with. Coming out to our studio audience in 30. Go. Many changes in terms of different calls of variables. Two less than a number. What was your number, Ethan? Uh, I had Q. You had Q. So Q what? Q minus two. Q minus two. It's not two Q. How would you how how would you change the wording to make it two Q? Two less than twice a number. Excellent. Questions? All right. A number by itself all the way at the end, once again, is called a what? Constant. The number in front of the variable is called a what? Coefficient. When numbers have the same variable and the same exponent, they're called? Starts with L. Like term. Any questions? Three days of weekend, one assignment.